Hi friends, I am Tyagraj. Once again, welcome to Tally Spotlight. In this session, we are going to learn how to generate e invoicing and e way bill from Tally Prime application. Before getting into the session, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe our channel and click on notification bell to get more and future updates. We are going to see how to register e invoicing registration and API user registration. Next, in Tally Prime F11 features, we need to enable e invoicing and e way bill features. Finally, Billing and generating IRN number, acknowledgement number, QR code with eBay bill number. Let us see e invoicing portal registration process. Your business turnover is crossed e invoicing threshold limit. Then open e invoicing portal that is e invoice1.gst.gov.in. Click on registration in that list. Click on portal login. Here we need to enter GST number and capture. Click on go. In our case, it's already registered under e invoicing and we are going to log into e invoicing portal. Enter username, password, and captcha. Click on login. Edit that contact person name, mobile number, and mail ID. If we share that person contact details, the technical person can easily reach us for future if required. Next, we have to register API registration. Under user credential, click on create API user. Meanwhile, you will get one pop-up message that OTP sent to registered mobile number. Enter OTP and click on verify. Next screen, we need to select that API interface through GSP, through ERP or through client ID of other GSTN number. Select your GSP or ERP service provider and enter that API username and password and click on submit. Now click on exit. Let's see that list of API users. In this page, we can able to see the two list of API users. Here it will show that API user ID, type, and registered company. That is registered as a GSP. The one more software company, ERP, so prime software solution selected as a ERP. Now we can log out from e investing portal. Now in Tally application, click on company. There in F11 features, we need to enable that e-invoicing option. Under GST option, here we need to enable e-way bill number and e-invoicing number and e-invoicing applicable date and bill from place. If you want to send e-way bill details with e-invoice, make it yes. Now we are ready to raise the bill from Tally Prime application. Invoicing we need to do as usual. We need to select the party name, sales ledger, here the, we are maintaining inventory so we are selected final product details and GST tax details we are selected based on the nature of product. Next provide GST, eBay bill and e invoicing details make it yes. Here we need to fill that mandatory field related to eBay bill, dispatch from and ship to, distance or transporter ID, next mode of transport, vehicle number and vehicle type. Once accept the screen, next e invoicing details we need to fill build to place and ship to place now while accepting this transaction it will ask do you want to send voucher details for e invoice and e way bill generation click on yes send proceed next screen immediately we can able to see that's e invoicing portal login user id and password or if you want to generate bulk top menu bar click on exchange there it will show you the list of invoice which is pending for generate irn number Select those invoice by clicking on space bar, click on send. Enter API user ID and password. Once successfully validated that voucher transaction, immediately it will show you pop-up message. E-invoicing and e-way bill prepared successfully. Click on enter to proceed. Now let's see that invoice print preview. Select that particular invoice, click on print. Now let's see the preview. The preview we can able to see the QR code and IRN number, acknowledgement number, acknowledgement date. Capture. Similarly, we can able to see eBay bill in details in this invoice. A invoicing option is mandatory for B2B transaction. In case if it is B2C transaction, those cases we have to generate dynamic number. Once uploaded to e invoicing registration portal, we can able to cancel in the same day. Is there any mistake or correction in the e invoicing? We can't able to modify in that particular invoice or we can't able to file that amended invoice. We have to upload invoice debit note and credit note to invoice registration portal. I hope you may got an idea how to generate invoicing from the portal. You may like this video and share with your friends. 
प्लीज सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल एंड क्लिक आर नोटिफिकेशन बिल टू गेट मोर इन फ्यूचर अपडेट्स थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग टेली स्पॉटलाइट स्टेट यून फॉर मोर अपडेट्स